How do everybody, Phil Lawrence up here. Today I am playing Highway Encounter by Stephen Smith, originally by Costa Pan I, I think. It's brand new, same guy did Highway Encounter 3D the other week, or other month, I can't remember. I played it, it was great. Uh, oh, look at that, look at that. Uh, for those that have played Highway Encounter will know that these fellas here are your lives. You're basically dragging your lives across this massive, like, what a highway. So you've got to drag your lives all the way up this highway here and uh, you've got to make a path, clear a path all the way along, shooting bad bastards as you go and trapping stuff. Uh, if I remember rightly, oh there you go. You've got to trap uh, like bouncing balls and I think there's uh, something else I can't remember. I played it in ages. So you push blocks, uh, you push blocks in the way and something else. Not played. I've not played the original in ages. The original's brilliant. If you're not playing the original, you'll get all well, that. This being said, that this is ace. I mean, look at it. It's fantastic, isn't it? So you basically push blocks, oh, uh, clear the path, and so your lives. Am I explaining this well? Sure, I am. So your lives. Yeah, I'm dead. I died. So here I'm back with my lives at the beginning again. <laughs> Uh, back up the lot beginning because I've died. Like I said, that's your lives, so you've got to drag them along. Push blocks, clear a path, and your lives will make it its way along the highway right to the end. Uh, 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 uh. Looking at the bottom, we've got a time limit too. Was there a time limit on the original? Must have been. Can't remember. But it's, it, it's easy in premise. It's easy in premise. Clear a path, shoot bad bastards, that sort of stuff. But it's solid. It was solid in uh, the original as well. So, Christ knows what it's going to be like here. With the 3D effect added. Looks grand though. 3D twist on games is brilliant. The X1 3D was absolute beautiful. I think he did another one, but I don't think I've played that one yet. I think it was. Uh, I think he did. Have I died again? I have. I've died again. Knob. Oh, the little fellas are moving. Uh, I think you did Alien. Uh, Alien 8, if I remember rightly. But I can't really sure. Just got to get rid of that. Uh, bouncing mine, it's in the way. Oh, oh, flipping like a baddies on the move. It's going to go towards the little people, look at that. Uh, I think you did Alien uh, 8. I'm not too sure, I can't remember. But this is the latest one. Move that mine out of the way. Doesn't belong to me, you understand. Right. Anything else? Oh, yeah. Get you. Deaded. I go get my people, move them up. Does it, the time is ticking now, so we're rotten at the bottom. Foot there, look at that. Where did that come from? Did I get past me before? Still got three lives left. Let's look after you people at the bottom as well. Why is it? Run bright, does it kill them as well? Baddies will go down there and squash them. Oh, some ones to shoot. Look at those big fellas over there. Can I get them? Yeah. Right. That was easy enough. It is brilliant. It looks fantastic. He's done a grand job, Stephen, bringing this into the 3D, <laughs> 3D, 3D world. This is uh, on Itch.io. Uh, I think it's only called Itch. But with the dot and the I on it, and it's called Itch.io. And it's another pay what you want. I've said it before, but I always pay like a the Mastertronic uh, amount. You know, like one ninety nine per game. This is a version, I think it was version 1.1 .1 or 1.0 at the beginning. So what does that mean? This is his first release. So there will obviously be more coming, more levels or something like that. But once you've got bought it, once you've bought it, any upgrades that happen, uh, it, well, you don't have to buy the upgrade to that level. The upgrades happen to the game you've already bought. So it's worth paying for it. As I said, I, I dropped 199 in, and then you'll get the upgrade to the game. Oh, flipping heck, I'm a bit closer to that mine. Is it going to get me? No, it's not. 
smarter than that. Right, get that across. Just notice my time's dropped a lot. Right, come on. Look at all these three over here. I expected that box to explode then. I was going to shoot it and don't blow up. Great, I love the, I was gonna say I love the undulating mines. Oh, knob. No, we don't go forward yet. Don't go forward yet. Oh my death has got rid of one of the mines. That's good. There's only one less mine to work on now. I can get that trapped off. I can get up my little people. Is there anything else up there? Anything up here? Is that something can just shoot? Oh, shit! Flew out! Flew out back! I'll get my little people up first. Then I'll go and get that. Hey, come on. Oh, I think I've got two. I've only got two lives left. Knob! I was hoping, because I can get rid of past the level one on the normal one. I could. Uh, keep my pride and get past level one on uh, the 3D one. Stay still. Stay still while I shoot you. They're zipping around all over the place. Look at that. Stay still. That's got, got, got. Where's my little beetle? Onwards. This way. Right. What? Zone 17. They count down as well. So we've still got 16 zones to flip and go. Uh, and what? Only got one. Let's have a look at it. 180 seconds. What was that? Three minutes. Bloody hell. Three minutes to get through 16 hours. I don't think I'm going to do it. I don't think I'm going to do it. Two lives, three minutes. I've got to get through 16 sodding zones. Oh, oh. That mine escaped. Jeez, God. There we go. Where did that baddie come from? Did we get it from here? Nope. I'm going to do that across. Trap him over there. And back. Look at that. How about you? Right, I've got to get this up here. <laughs> it didn't move then. Why is it not moving? That's why it's not moving. There's a tile on the floor. Come on, move faster. We've got less than two minutes to go. It doesn't move if you're up close. There we go. The enemy. Oh shit, there's one of those weird flying ones. There's a fat Pac-Man. Got you. Not body shaming Pac-Man, you understand. But he was rotund. Right, got to get this fella out for me. How did he move that? He's just... Oh, oh, I'm floating. I'm floating. Oh, oh, what did I do? I've done something. <laughs> um, is that God? What the hell am I? What? Oh, I am zone minus. Um, I've gone right to the end for some reason. What happened then? I'm, f I'm definitely floating. I'm flying above everything. Let's see if we can get back. Let's shoot some stuff on the way. <laughs> Stay still. <laughs> oh, no. What the hell? I didn't touch anything. All I'm doing was shoot flying saucer. Oh, I broke the game. <laughs> I broke it somehow. 
Oh, where am I? Zone minus, was that 34? My God, it's full of stars. <laughs> I've stuffed it. I've stuffed it. I broke it. What did I do? Did something. Old Phil's knackered the game. That was going really well till then. Game over. I broke it I don't know how. Perhaps if Steven's watching, he can say what how I fudged it up. That was going really well until I messed it up somehow. That was uh, my fault, I'm guessing somehow. Highway Encounter, uh, converted by Stephen Smith. Available to download now over on Itch.io. I'll put the link in the description if I'm going to get it. I go and get it and try not to break it like I do. But I'm off. TTFN, I'm really set off an Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. How did I break it? I shall go back in. I shall go back in and see if I can do it again, but not break it this time. Uh, yes. <laughs> Silly asshole.